You know, this is my second annual Magical Girl May, and honestly, it's a little blasphemous that I never actually talked about Sailor Moon last year. Sailor Moon is arguably the most iconic of all Magical Girl anime, and because of that, I wasn't really sure what I could say about it. Sailor Moon's detailed and interesting character dynamics and story arcs have been discussed at length by plenty of really cool, smart people. What more is there that I could add to what everyone else has already said? So instead, I'm just gonna rank all the trans transformations from worst to best. <laughs> I spoke at length about the concept of transformation sequences last year in this video. Links in the description and in the iCard if you want to check that one out. And Sailor Moon's transformation sequences are nearly as iconic, if not potentially more iconic, than anything with the actual stories, characters, or plots. <laughs> Once an episode, at least one of these big, beautiful, glowy transformations would play. So the animators got to go all out with making these moments more quality than usual. Since it would get replayed nearly every episode, and there are a lot of transformation sequences. 50, at least. Because <laughs> turns out Sailor Moon has about 500 quantum billion transformations, and some of them repeat the same animations but with such minor changes here and there. And then of course they got that reboot with Crystal, so they got all new transformations for that one. And so I, I'm going to go with 50. 50 is what I found. Some of them were so similar to each other that I lumped them together into one category. I'll explain those ones when I get there. But also, like, it's- come on, my list is 50 entries long. I think that's a pretty decent number. Anyways, enough of me just blabbering on about it. Let's dive into this top 50 ranking Sailor Moon transformation sequences. Let's go! <laughs> 50. Saturn Planet Power. Why is this one on the bottom of the list? Well, because there is no, like, actual transformation. She's just in her outfit, nothing fancy, no cool elemental effects, nothing. Super lame. 49. Chibi Moon Prism Power S. I don't know, man. We just, like, linger on Chibi Moon's tiny child potato body for a little too long, in my opinion, and she barely moves, and it's just not great. 48. Venus Star Power Makeup Version R and Version S. The R version and the S versions are so close to each other that it really was not worth it to count them as separate entries for this list. This is true for the rest of the Sailor Scouts too, not just Venus. Also, I'm gonna be honest with you, Venus has probably the worst transformation out of the Sailor Scouts, at least to me. This version is just bland, her body sparkles are more stroby than I would like, and her star ribbon looks lazy, with very little effects to help make it feel more magical, you know? Like how some of her other transformations will have. 47. Moon Crisis Makeup Sailor Moon plus Chibi Moon. I don't know, it's just real simple. They try to hide the fact Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon barely move in this one by covering it up with a bunch of sparkle effects, and Chibi Moon's whole transformation feels like an afterthought. And this final pose is like... Weird. Sailor Moon's wings are placed weirdly low on her back, and this pose she has and her expression, I just- it's just weird. It's just a weird transformation. <laughs> 46. Venus Power Makeup. The original Venus transformation. Her spinning maneuver always felt off for me, especially when we go in close to her eye here. Her star ribbon looks better here, I guess. At the very least, it looks brighter, but the blue background on her doesn't feel like it fits, especially with her final pose. Like, are you being surrounded by bubbles? What is this? <laughs> 45. Sailor Moon Transformation Crystal. Ah yes, the notorious Crystal remake of the original. They opted for a 3D model for this transformation and they look bad. The movements are stilted and slow, especially their hair. It looks akin to the graphics from a GameCube game. Most confusingly are the horrifyingly gaunt stick-like proportions on her arms and legs. I know Crystal went with a style that made all the girls on the more twiggy side, which was a huge downgrade in my opinion. <laughs> but Usagi looks more like Slenderman than Sailor Moon here. This one definitely is the worst of the 3D transformations. 44. Mars Power Makeup Crystal. Speak of the devil, here's our second of these 3D transformations. This one's better because it's short. Unfortunately, it's so short they skipped over like the whole transformation. Her hair really takes the biggest dive with this 3D model too. 3D never can quite capture long locks of hair that well, can it? I really like the background for this one, and I can't deny that her face is cute, but it's just... 
Not good. <laughs> 43. Healer star power. I don't know these characters, I'll admit. I never made it to whatever part of the story the sailor stars are from. There are three of them, and of the three, this one's the worst in my opinion. That being said, it's not bad. It's just that the pose healer is in during the color changing split effect is kind of bland, and their glamour shots at the end aren't that spectacular. This one makes it look like healer accidentally tripped. That's funny. <laughs> 42. Fighter star power. Fighter, I think, is a little bit better. The color split pose is a lot more noticeable between their two versions, and their glamour poses afterwards are just way cooler looking. 41. Crisis Makeup. I really like the butterfly effects. They look really cool and pretty. Also, the music slash sound effects for this one is like really different than usual. <laughs> It's just way too short for me to warrant putting it any higher on this list. 40. Saturn Crystal Power Crystal. It gives us a little more than her first version gave us, but it's still just so limited and short. The colors on this one are especially bland. It's all just purple. You can't give me at least the background having a little bit of color to help accentuate the transformation? Ugh. 39. Pluto Planet Power Makeup. The green background is a weird choice. It doesn't gel very well with this very grayish sparkle effect on her body, but I like the wind-like effect that circles her, and this top-down view is a nice touch. We don't see that with any of the other girls. Also, her hair is probably the nicest animated hair in all of these transformations, but I also think watching her magically gain lipstick looks a little goofy on her, especially with how oddly pale her lips were before that. And then she snaps it to her final pose in a weird way at the end. 38. Maker Star Power. The third of the Sailor Stars. Their color split effect is a little bland, but all their poses afterwards are 10 out of 10. It looks like we're actually watching them do the spin they do in their final pose, and I like it. 37. Moon Cosmic Power Crystal. After Crystal ditched the 3D models, they decided to go really crazy with the perspectives on the girls, giving them these weirdly twiggy or stretchy looking proportions in some of these shots that I don't think worked out the way they wanted it to. Also, Usagi's expression through most of this looks like she's just unconscious and the magic is tossing her limp body around. Beyond that though, it's very pretty to look at. The sparkles on her body and in the background look nice with each other, and I like how active Usagi looks here. She almost looks like she's dancing in some of these shots, which is nice. 36. Jupiter Power Makeup. I actually usually like Jupiter's transformation, but this one is just probably the worst versions for her, because the colors are all just really dark and muddy, especially her body sparkles in the background. The lightning really gets to pop this way, which is nice, but I don't know, I'd like to be able to see her a lot more. Though the final background for her last pose is really cool though. 35. Mercury Crystal Power. When she does her initial spin, it feels almost right rushed, like they fast forwarded the animation or something. Also the bubbles that circle her body become so translucent that you practically can't even see them. Which is a shame because when they're twirling around her before they look really pretty. There's a really nice sparkle effect on them. That disappointing thing with her bubbles and the fact that the background is almost the same exact color as her hair, and that's why this is Mercury's worst transformation for me. 34. Venus Planet Power Crystal. Venus's star ribbons look great here, and her spin maneuver looks way better than the other version too. It's just that the stars can be a little bit too much at times, and the colors are really one note here, which is the biggest thing holding it back. 33. Venus Crystal Power. Weird comparing these two side by side, huh? <laughs> Anyways, the sparkle effect inside of Venus is a little bit much for me, but her star ribbon around her looks really nice. But I think the thing I like the most about this one is how she flips her hair out of her face. It just looks a lot smoother and more natural than the crystal version. 32. Pluto Crystal Power. Crystal. This version fixed the muddy green and washed out gray colors from the original. Her magical lipstick looks a bit better too. It's just this transformation is just kind of boring for me, like the whole thing. We don't see any of her other outfit or accessories pop in other than her lipstick. This one is very nice and the best one that Pluto gets. The problem is just that I'm not a fan of Pluto's transformation in general. 31. Jupiter Crystal Power. This one is cool because of how green they make the lightning. It's a nice touch. Jupiter's body sparkles are also nice looking against the dark background and the green lightning effect. Unfortunately, the background 
is just really rather dark and muddy still. 30. Eternal Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon gets a lot of angel wing motifs in her transformations, and I think for this one, even though the wings look very pretty, they tend to just get in the way or distract from her outfit more than anything. But at least this one's short, and her final pose is really cute. 29. Moon Crisis Makeup. I actually really like seeing Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon transform together. The problem is, this one's just really slow. It's fine if a transformation takes a while, but there's just not much excitement going on. The two girls barely move, and they linger on this kiss on the cheek. I think that's what she's doing. It's just it, for a little too long. The final pose is really cute though. 28. Maker Star Power version 2. The Sailor Stars are back, and they got a second version of their transformations. Of the three, this time around, I think Maker's is, is the worst. The split screen thing just looks real muddy, like I can't see what's going on. The bloom effect is just too bright, so I can't even see like which body parts it is that's getting the makeover. Maker also gets left out when it comes to getting a final pose as they get stuck doing the team pose with their transformation. Really, it's the colors in this one that's boosting it this high up on the list. 27. Mercury Power Makeup. Mercury's original transformation. Ironically, the thing with this one is the opposite of what I said before. I think the bubbles obscure her way too much this time around, though the water drip effect and blast of wind for her final reveal looks so much nicer here. The green background looks fine during her transformation, but it's a bit of a confusing choice for her final pose, I'd say. 26. Jupiter Star Power Makeup versions R and S. Little thing, this is the nicest nail color out of all of their nails. I love this color. While this version forgoes the green lightning for more traditional bluish color, the real star of this version is the background. It's finally bright enough where I can see the poor girl's final outfit. Her greens kept getting lost in that dark, muddy green background. Now I can finally see her shoes, her skirt. She looks great. The only thing is, this final image in the background is a a weird choice with the reds and purples, but that's a small price to pay for finally brightening up the background for her transformation. 25. Sailor Chibi Moon Crystal I'll be honest, her legs look weird in the beginning. They look like bouncy, rubbery, boneless blobs, but the rest of it looks nice. I especially like the quick cuts from her accessories to her gloves in the middle. Also, her final pose is so cute. This might be my favorite final pose out of all of the transformations. She looks like she accidentally transformed and is tumbling out of it, startled by what just happened. I love it. <laughs> 24. Neptune Planet Power. I like her motion for her water effect below her. It's just a little bit too slow for me. Like, only by a few seconds though. Specifically just before the water torrent engulfs her. But the colors, the background, even her magical lipstick are all really nice looking. Though she snaps to her final pose a little too jankily, in my opinion. Great colors and effects, it's just the pacing keeping this one lower on the list. 23. Mercury Power Crystal. The last of those 3D transformations. This one is the best, I think. Mostly because the way how short her hair is, it's not too distracting in 3D. Also, the 3D effects on her water thing looks way nicer than the other two girls got stuck with. But the final bit with moving up her body and watching her tiara playing into place, it's just too slow for me. 22. Mercury Star Power Makeup versions R and S. More Mercury! Honestly, this is the perfect balance of her water standing out against against her body, and also not looking too distracting in the way. I also like the color her sparkles are before she transforms. It's just a good transformation. It does everything it needed to do, and it did it well. Nice. 21. Moon Crisis Makeup Eternal. The crystal version of the transformation with Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon at the same time. The sparkle effects and color palettes look nice. It is a little too similar to the background at times though, but the effects have a slightly snappier pace to them, which is an improvement in my books. Just a little bit of pacing adjustment can completely save a transformation. 20. Healer Star Power Version 2. Great effects, cool looking outfit change, great colors. Does everything that was good with Makers' second version and does it better. The only thing is, I get that healer is stern and whatever, but dang, do you gotta just be so terse throughout the whole thing? Ugh. <laughs> 19. Fighter Star Power Version 2. Fighter's second transformation is my favorite of the Sailor Star's transformations. The colors and effects are nice, but it's really Fighter's poses throughout the whole thing. Fighter looks cool and confident, and this final backflip into this epic final pose is just, it's cool. It's just cool looking. 18. Mars Planet Power Crystal. The fire effects look great. All the effects mixed with the detailed background can 
feel a little overwhelming at times. Regardless, this is a very cool powered up version of her original transformation. Even that spin up her outfit to check out her accessories looks nice. And that smile, it's so cute. <laughs> 17. Jupiter Crystal Power Crystal. The colors are a little one note during her transformation, but once her outfit pops in, it's really nice. It's a nice bright shade of green to really highlight Jupiter's darker colors on her skirt and stuff. Her final pose feels a little stilted maybe, but I liked her little earring spin just before that. 16. Mars Crystal Power. Mars's body sparkles are nice and bright to help her stand out against the dark background. The fire looks great without ever feeling like it's muddying up the transformation or obscuring her too much. All of this is just great. Super beautiful. 15. Jupiter Planet Power. Crystal. Jupiter shows us the second best nail color here. When it comes to nails, Jupiter just got it on lock. <laughs> The lightning effect here looks especially nice. I love just how green everything is around the lightning. Despite both the background and her body being green, they never feel like they're ever getting lost or muddied up on each other. And this final pose just feels a bit more natural compared to the last one. This is the best Jupiter transformation in my opinion. 14. Mercury Planet Power Crystal. Her spins are a little much, but I love how the water catches onto her body and forms her boots and outfit. The water drip effect here is a especially nice. She looks super adorable when her earrings pling into existence too. 13. Mars Crystal Power Crystal. It has all those great colors and fire effects from before, only now with a background that helps let Mars shine. Rather than becoming a little too much like before, her smile isn't nearly as cute though, but just way better colors all around. 12. Venus Crystal Power Crystal. This is the best Venus transformation in my opinion. It has the nice spin animation on her, and her star ribbon looks great here. The effects are toned down a bit, so it's much easier to see Venus herself, and she's not getting lost in all those stars around her. The stars shooting up around her for her final outfit reveal is also just cool looking. All the colors in the background especially are just really nice to look at. 11. Mars Star Power Makeup version R and S. This version really highlights the fire effects. I actually think the darker background helps here because she naturally pops with the red sparkles and her accent colors. Her smile is perfect and adorable. The only downside is her final pose has some off color choices. Pink and purple don't really help her much, which leads us to number 10, Mars Power Makeup. Yes, I think the original Mars transformation is her best version. It has all the things I've gushed about already. The colors help her pop. The fire effects look great here. The background isn't as dark and murky to brighten things up a bit, but it's that final pose in front of that wall of flames that just elevates it above the rest. She looks stunning here. 9. Neptune Planet Power Crystal. Neptune doesn't get a lot of transformations, but I do think this is the best version of hers. All the gripes I had about the pacing before are fixed here. Also, the colors of her sparkles and the background help her to really pop, highlighting that cool floating and water-like effect her body movement has. Finishing it all off with her actually stepping into her pose, and this one is just really lovely to watch. 8. Moon Crystal Power Makeup she has a lot of cool looking spins to her body movement. Also the angel wings acts as a really nice accent to make those more simple shots a little more interesting visually. Her hands go into a really nice pose for her gloves and there's just really nice fluidity to all of her movements. 7. Uranus Planet Power Crystal. I haven't gotten to talk about Uranus yet. It's because she has only two transformations and I really like them both. <laughs> the colors here are fine, what really catches my eye is the shape of the hexagonal sparkles in the background. That's really cool and not seen with anyone else's transformations. Her energy effect looks really nice, but this cracked screen effect is what really stands out. Also, you gotta love that smile. <laughs> Only downside, this final pose. Her body feels way too twiggy, like skinnier than usual. 6. Mercury Crystal Power Crystal. Mercury's best transformation in my opinion. The water effects look great without covering her up too much or feeling lost in the background. I love how her outfit and boots pop into place. Her body sparkles a lot, which really helps her stand out against all the blues from the background and her water. And that water drip effect looks the nicest here, with the stunning black, the blue ripple, and this burst of energy as she reappears in her full outfit. And to top it all off, this little jumpy thing she does to get into position is so cute. <laughs>
5. Uranus Planet Power Yes, it's back to Uranus. Yes, I think this is not only her best transformation, but I think this is the best transformation from all of the other Sailor Scouts. The red-black background mixed with the blue-white effect on her body just makes her come to life. And the sizzling effect of the energy being carved around her is so unique and it feels powerful. The way it encircles her, revealing her outfit, it just punches you with energy. And her hair flip. Girl! <laughs> Even the magical lipstick looks good on her with that saucy smile of hers. Top it all off with the fact that she has some real meat on her bones. Unlike how twiggy her crystal version is at the end of that transformation, Uranus crushes it here. <laughs> 4. Tuxedo Masks Transformation I'll be honest, this isn't that good of a transformation, he doesn't move much, but I'm just amazed at the oddity of it. I'm pretty sure this only ever played once. The way the rose glows and how his hat kind of plops down on his head are just interesting new effects that the girls don't get. Tuxedo Mask's transformation is absent of most of the overtop elements and sparkles, which gives it an almost calm, simplistic style, which is a neat change of pace. This also has the distinction of being the only time the background is a brighter color than his body sparkles are, which are the much darker color. Usually it's reversed for the girls. It's just so unique and always seems so cool to me. 3. The OG. Of course it was gonna make it this high on my list. It's a classic. It's iconic. This is the standard with which all other transformations has had to base themselves off of. This transformation is arguably the biggest pioneer of the designs for transformations for every other transformation across all Magical Girl shows. It's bright, it's colorful, it's easy to find yourself enraptured watching all her accessories and clothing pop into place. The pink ribbon effect is interesting intricately animated and looks beautiful as it wraps around her body. The twist on her head as we zoom up to her forehead for her tiara to pop in is an intricate detail that must have been really challenging to animate. So if this one's so great, why is it not number one? Well, it is a tad long, but more importantly, I think the final two take everything that makes this transformation so iconic and beautiful and really elevates it. Two. Moon Prism Power Crystal. Yes, Chibi Moon is number two. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Going from one of the worst transformations to the second best is no small feat. First of all, the sound effects for this one are so plucky and cute. <laughs> The way everything pops into place is just adorable. And it's nice getting to see all of her accessories popping in without having the camera do loop-de-loops around her whole body, like how we usually get to do. We just cut to the important bits and they pop in, almost on a rhythm. Finishing the whole thing off with an adorable smile from Chibi Moon, and a final pose that has her icon magically shining into place. It all looks so good, it's the perfect length, great colors and expressions, it's just really fun to watch. Number one. Moon Cosmic Power Makeup Everything that was so great about the original Sailor Moon transformation easily gets used in even better ways here. Keeping her body sparkles definitively white, yellow, and pink helps her stand out really well against the blue background, which is a dark enough blue as to not distract from her outfit and effects, but also a bright enough blue to not feel muddy or murky. The heart that spins around her is an elegant touch, highlighting her spin even more. Usagi twirls a lot in this transformation, and it looks amazing especially her hair. Her pigtails never feel in the way or feel wonky. Watching her spin and twirl as her outfit, gloves, and boots pop into place looks almost as if she's dancing. It almost feels like she's just having a lot of fun with her own transformation. This jumping pose she takes after her skirt pops into place is just a little bit of extra movement and energy that gives the whole thing this exciting vibe. Finishing off with one more spin and a graceful bow. Almost as if she knows she's putting on a performance and she's happy her audience is here to see it. The last touch of her accessories pop into place quickly enough where it doesn't feel like we're taking too long, but it also uses these bright pink sparkle effects that really helps highlight them so you can still see them even on top of all of her colors in the background. One final twirl and she lands in what is probably her coolest looking pose, and the pink heart behind her is just a really nice touch too. This transformation goes above and beyond and it's just so much fun to watch every Every single time. Well done, Sailor Moon. Shout out to my $10 patrons, you're all amazing. Nako, James Dodds, Cool Duck, Andrew, Ramiel, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, G Extreme, 
Classy Critic, Trey Not Dre, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Azoth, Great Bar, Pentimenta, Jake, Storm, Amber, Lolith, Livid Aries, Hype Man, Luno, Zero to Hero, Keithan, Isaiah, Josh, Joseph, Scaring Crows, Blue Wiz, Danny Boy, and Holly Anderson. So yeah, did you like this video? <laughs> Was it enough for you? Was it enough Sailor Moon transformations? Also, I'm I'm sure I missed some. So if I missed one that's your favorite, let me know in the comments below. Uh, any and all thoughts and opinions, Sailor Moon goodness, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.